our story. New space. Am I gonna play this? New look. Our story four. Today, we're gonna talk about voices that have gone unheard. This episode is gonna be a little short and sweet. We're gonna talk about two artists. I'm gonna give you an idea of a way that you can use your voice, and then we'll see you next week. The first person, Carol King, is someone whose voice has been heard. Guess what? I have her here to visit me today. Carol King is a well-known name. She wrote her first number one hit when she was 17. Will You Love Me Tomorrow by The Shirelles. He took him to the top. She wrote The Locomotion, originally recorded by Little Eva. She wrote He Hit Me by The Crystals. It's a little messed up, but it's a good song. If It's Over by Mariah Carey. Natural Woman, recorded by Aretha Franklin. Feminist anthem. It wasn't until her own release called Tapestry in 1971 that Carol King's name became known for her music and not for the songs she was writing for other people. Over her career, she's written over 100 one, number one hits. Carol King. Carol King. Carol King. The next person that we'll talk about got her nickname from Carol King. The percussionist named Ms. Bobby Hall. M-B-H, now Ms. Bobby Hall Porter. Porter. She became a session percussionist for Motown Records at the age of like 11. She grew up in Detroit and worked with very well-known artists of the time, including Diana Ross and the Supremes. She was a lot of times not given credit. Bobby went on past Motown Records, ended up working with Carole King. Other artists she worked with, Stevie Nicks, Aretha Franklin, she was on the song Me and Bobby McGee by Janis Joplin, Dolly Parton, Joni Mitchell, Tracy Chapman. She is involved in a lot of history that we often hear about, but we don't necessarily hear her name. How are you going to use your voice to make a change? What our story has been about the whole time. I give you some tools, I tell you some people who've done some stuff, and you figure out a way to do your own thing. Our good pal Kennedy is already doing it. She could use your help. Our volunteer Kennedy is putting together packets for homeless populations in Omaha. She has figured out a way to make a change, to continue doing these things. Kennedy is taking donations, monetary donations, at her Venmo and PayPal accounts. If you can, if you're able, if you want to, you could donate money. These packets have essential items. Her goal is to make available things that should be available to everybody. The vulnerable populations in our communities need more support. As far as other donations are concerned, contact her directly. I have a more specific idea if you want it, if you're interested. One of the pieces in the kit is a mask, face mask. For our vulnerable populations, something like a face mask would help. I don't know about you, but I volunteered for Girls Rock for like a long time now. I have a lot of t-shirts. Some people would like to keep them. Take those old Girls Rock t-shirts and make someone a face mask. There are plenty of simple ideas and simple ways to do so. It's been done, I don't need to explain it here. Make a mask, send it to a friend, sanitize everything. That's it for this week. Next week, I don't know what we're gonna talk about because that's next week and I'm here right now. Thanks for being here. See you next time. Our story.